up to 215 pounds. The big guys, although neither one of them looked quite as big as Shojin. Jeff Ellis out of section six from Clarence, 120 and 12 in a career. He was first last year at 215, Jeff Ellis out of Clarence High School. And he's got Pete Valois out of Clarkstown South. Got a 92 and 16 record. He's from section one. And he was fourth last year. Although they say Valois generally weighs in at only 197. So he's given some weight away to Ellis, but he doesn't give away any aggressiveness. He goes right after Ellis. He certainly could get a takedown here. He's got it. He's got it right there. So Ellis taken down by Valois. That's what I like to see. Hey, I don't care if you're a returning state champ. I'm coming after you, and I'm going to try to. I'm going to beat you. Well, Ellis, who looked good, I thought in his earlier matches, Peterson, Peterson and however, he does not get Valois to give up any back points. As a matter of fact, he hasn't given up anything yet. Now he does two points. So Ellis picks up two. 2-2. Two, two. The old days, the heavyweights were always those uh, guys fat, about fat, five, fat little kids. 5-6, 215. And uh, now you see them throwing legs. and uh, They certainly do. And they, uh, they have all the moves that the 91-pounders have. So. That's right. And you see that Jeff Ellis got the leg in, trying to get that hand of Valois, the arm behind his head. Guillotine, something was unheard of with heavier weights. Even though what the leg was, uh, was uh, something some that's unheard of by the heavyweights. Right now, Valois trying to turn in and get away from the legs of Jeff Ellis. It's all tied up 2 2. In this 215 pound weight class, you see right there the He's attempt. He's got to watch his arm. He's got to watch his arm. Yeah, referee potentially will. dangerous. Referee's right there, ready to break yep, it. And he does. Uh, I've seen that more often than the ever get it, it seems that they give up that potentially dangerous. It's not only the officials, Mike Jones and Tom Trout, I believe. For this match, we wind down to 20 seconds. And Ellis in... He's getting some points there. I was going to say, in tight, going to pick up some back points from Pete Valois. Picks up a couple more points, makes it 5 2. End of the first period, a 5 2 lead for Ellis. Valois on top. Trying to break down and control Jeff Ellis. Valois out of Clarkstown South High School. And as you said, Doug Arvin, certainly showing that he is not afraid or impressed with Jeff Ellis to the point where it affects his wrestling because he's going right after him. Each wrestler has only lost one time this year, and uh, that's pretty impressive in itself. Ellis has lost only 12 times in his entire career, while Valois has lost 16 times. So... Record-wise, pretty evenly matched. Ellis, undoubtedly the favorite as a returning champ from last year. There's Ellis on the bottom. You see, 10 seconds left. Excuse me, a minute and 10 seconds left. In the second period, reversal. Once again, the legs go in there. Ellis, as soon as he got the reversal, threw the leg in. You don't see that too often on the uh, big boys, where the leg is a main ride. 45 seconds. They'll break, they'll break that again. Uh, as soon as he comes up uh, past a certain point, 
And again, it depends on each referee. Uh, they're usually different. Twenty-five seconds left in this second period. Seven-two lead by Jeff Ellis from six. Ten seconds now, and counting as Valois has not been able to get any points out of this. Right now, Ellis is just kind of hanging on. And I'm not going to give you any points for that period. So he probably was watching that clock, knowing how much time he had, and was able to just uh, ride him through it. Beginning of the third period, two minutes left for Jeff Ellis to become a two-time New York State wrestling champ. Voice on the bottom from section one. It's going to be a nice, he's going to try to tilt him again. I think they'll give him one here, I'm yeah, not sure. I was say he may get an escape. Nope. Nope. He didn't give him anything. Red's still on top. The referee went running over there. I think he wanted to check out where uh, uh, Ellis's hand was to make sure if he still had contact with that leg that he wouldn't give him the one point. Well, there's going to be a little discussion now. Once again, now, you know, I agree. I mean, I'm not, I don't necessarily agree with the call. I agree that they should talk like that. And if the other official had a better point or perspective on the uh, move, he said, yeah, I think there was one point there, then they gave it to him. Tom Trout, the assistant referee, made the call, and official Mike Jones agreed with him. Two points now for Ellis, making it 9-3. Now down to a minute. Not a lot of action in this, in terms of pinning combinations. No one's been in real trouble with that respect. Ellis is uh, throwing a couple uh, tilts, which is, they call them near falls, but I'm not quite sure that's what they are. They're just exposing yeah, the guys just back. Garner some points. A lot of times leg wrestling is not the most exciting uh, type of wrestling that you ever want to see. Because you really do. You tie the bottom man up so he really can't do anything. And uh, you're not necessarily, it's sometimes difficult for you to get a, a, a pinning combination on. Ellis has the legs in on Valois. Ellis from section six in the orange. Valois is going to give up. Now Valois is going to pick up two points because he got a reverse on Ellis. 9-5. Might get some, he might, he's getting some points might himself. Some back points here. This could be close. 10 seconds. Two he back two. points, if he, nine, get him, if he can go again. Not enough time. He got Not Warren for stalling. Time. Ellis got Warren for stalling. So Ellis, who appeared to be in control, they gave up a number of points at the end to Pete Valois, but was able to hold him off. So Jeff Ellis repeats. 215 pounds, New York State champion. So for the second year in a row, Jeff Ellis wins the state crown. He's our second uh, two-time state champion. All 